If you drop a slinky dangling under its own weight, the bottom won't start falling until the whole slinky has collapsed. This is because each coil is stretched to support the weight of everything beneath it. So in order for one coil to fall, it needs the coil above it to collapse, and so on all the way up to the top. It's like a row of dominoes where the tension released at the top cascades down the slinky, and this takes some time. This is the longest slinky I had access to, and what's cool about this angle is you can see the bottom starts to rotate right there, meaning there is a twisting wave that travels through the slinky faster than the compression wave. The bottom is turning but still not falling until the top crashes into it. 